Roblox games based on the end of the world. It's something that a lot of people have a fear of, and many also wonder how it'll actually happen. From earthquakes destroying the world, asteroids falling down onto Earth, and even more bizarre horrifying events, I'm going to take a look at these different apocalyptic games to see what the creator was basing it on. So the first end of the world Roblox game is this one. Drop that bomb, okay? This is uh, this is about the nuclear bombs, huh? All right, so it seems like I'm in some plane, and here's the uh, here's the place we're going to nuke. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> this is pretty dark, actually. Here's the bomb. We've got the nuclear bomb bomb right here so can i like release it somewhere drop bomb okay here we go uh oh i did it is, is it gonna fall down now oh this is gonna be scary oh oh there it goes it dropped uh oh we're gonna see the whole place explode <laughs> oh man uh oh oh that's crazy can i see like a can i get a better view now the whole place turned into a mushroom cloud can i like actually visit it hey yay Oh yeah, take a look at that. The whole place is now in ashes. It's pretty grim, actually. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of that false missile alert in Hawaii. For those of you who don't know, in 2018, the citizens of Hawaii all received a text saying, emergency alert, ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. And yes, this is all 100% true. It honestly caused mass hysteria. People were like freaking out, unsure what to do, where to go and everything. Like there's people putting their children in sewers to try to save them from the missiles. Apparently it took 38 minutes and 13 seconds later for this state officials to say that it was a false alarm. This is the text that they got. Emergency alert. There's no missile threat or danger to the state of Hawaii. Repeat, false alarm. Man, it took that long to realize. All right, but next we've got asteroid slash meteor impact, okay? AKA lag simulator. Uh-oh, this is gonna destroy my computer. Oh, it's nighttime. Oh, this place is actually pretty nice. Okay, so is there gonna be an asteroid landing soon? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> is this gonna cause destruction and everything? Get out of here! <laughs> is the whole city gonna blow up now? Oh, we're gonna lag, huh? <laughs> oh no! Hey, everybody, make sure to subscribe! Wait, I gotta, I gotta close out of this before my computer actually blows up. But yeah, so what's scary about meteors and asteroids is that in the past, they have caused an actual end of the world, specifically the end of the dinosaurs. Oh, there's like been a lot of recreational videos of like the final moments of the dinosaurs, last day of the dinosaurs. So here's the asteroid that actually hit Earth, and I, I can't actually see this because of my astrophobia, but uh, it landed on Earth and it caused pretty much mass destruction. The scorching light sears their eyeballs. Oh my gosh. They have no way of seeing what's headed their way. But they can feel it. Oh, I can't see this. I can't see this. This makes me nervous. Whew. Impact 40 days. Wait, there are still dinosaurs after 40 days of the asteroid? Severely weakened by hunger, searches the charred terrain for something to eat. Oh no. Oh, that's so sad. That's pretty heartbreaking. So the next Roblox game about the end of times is called 2012. And I think this is a scene in the movie 2012 where the world is ending and they're like in a limousine trying to escape the mass destruction. It's honestly a pretty intense scene, but let's see how accurate the game is. Oh, this is a pretty cool place. Okay. So where am I supposed to drive? Do I drive back there? <laughs> All right, gotta get out of here before this whole place comes crumbling down. This is actually a pretty cool map. Okay, gotta go through here. Sorry, sorry. Oh, wow, look at all those cars. That highway's destroyed. Turn right. Okay, here we go. We're turning right. Ah! Did a car just knock me this way? <gasps> is this something else here? <laughs> they just blew up. Oh no. Right, I'm just gonna take this car now because he broke the other one. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, we're out of here. <laughs> yeah, look at all those cars. Oh man, this is actually kind of terrifying. All right, excuse me, cars. Excuse me. Passing through, passing through. Hey, here we go. I hope I know how to ride this thing. Oh, it's so fast. I don't know how to use this thing. Ah! Oh no. I don't like looking at the sky. Oh, I'm getting queasy. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> Oh, jeez. My fear of uh, planes is uh, striking now. All right, up, 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 up. <laughs> okay, I'm down at this game. So yeah, it appears that this game is based off of the movie 2012, which is based off of the speculation that on December 21st, 2012, the world as we know it would end. A lot of people actually believe this due to like different predictions as well as the Mayan calendar ending and all that. Um, and here's the scene from the movie. It's actually pretty crazy. I'm actually quite surprised they were able to uh, survive this, but they also probably have a lot of plot armor. Uh, I'm in the movie. I remember there's like a huge tsunami wave that was so huge. It actually passed over some of the mountains. So this is a mega tsunami, I believe. That's what they're called. Yeah, and apparently like the wave in the movie was so big it like turns over this gigantic ship where just like a lot of people just start falling off of it. Yeah, here we go, here we go. <laughs> 
Jeez, that's crazy. All right, but the next game that's about the end of the world is this one right here, The Rumbling, which is an event from the anime Attack on Titan. And I want to talk about some spoilers that happen here. Pretty much in The Rumbling, there's these giant beings that go around and destroy the whole world. Like literally over the course of four days, approximately 80% of all human life on the planet was ended. And it was all due to The Rumbling. So uh, let's see if we can actually see it here. What a beautiful day in my city. Huh? Wait. What's that? What's that sound? What's happening? I have no idea what's being said right now. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh well, well, what's happening over there? There's a, there's a lot of shooting going on. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Oh, no. He's got to throw a ship. Uh-oh. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. Oh, look. There they are. That's the rumbling. Oh, no. Yeah, look at that. They're even getting closer. It takes a long time, but they're making movements, though. Uh-oh. I, I should probably uh, I should probably move back, huh? <laughs> they're only gonna get closer now. Are they really gonna destroy everything here? Man, Eren is huge. It actually looks really cool, though. The animations are really good on these models. Oh, no. Oh, they're getting closer. My town, it's gonna get destroyed. This is the end. Ah! <laughs> What's actually cool is that there's this other game, Rumbling AOTBG, and it's got some really interesting gameplay. It's like a more realistic approach of the rumbling. Like you even have like the gear from the anime. Yeah, and then the movements are pretty sick. So you could actually like grapple onto them and the models even look realistic too. Yay. Woo! Ah! Yay. I don't think you can like actually fight them or anything, but the mechanics are still pretty cool. Dude, this model is sick. Wait, so Aaron is being carried by like those tiny little legs back there? Wow, he's, uh, he's actually really strong. But yeah, the rumbling in the anime is even more intense. Again, you just kind of see the destruction of like all of humanity actually unfold. Like you see everybody in their final moments just fearing for their lives and everything. It's really disheartening, but also very interesting too. And then just the titans causing havoc is really fascinating to watch as well. Like take a look at that. Everyone's just like at the edge of the cliffs. All right, but next we've got SCP-001 when day breaks. So it says here, when event occurred, 6.8 billion people died. As soon as they stepped into the sunlight slash moonlight, they dissolved into unrecognizable creatures with one purpose, to expose survivors to the light as well. Learn to embrace the darkness, friends. Fear the light. So yeah, I remember doing research into this SCP. For those of you who don't know what SCP is, it's pretty much different science fictional stories. And uh, this one's about people living in the bunkers. So there's this skeleton here. What does it say? Stay out of the sun. So yeah, apparently the sun is like the enemy here. If you stand outside it, you begin to like uh, start smoking. You start taking damage too. Yeah, look at my health bar slowly depleting. I gotta get back inside. <laughs> now look, the whole world is destroyed. Oh, jeez. What happened to my character? Yeah, so it says here, an unexplained event caused visual lights from the sun to be able to anonymously melt people into living, malevolent flesh zombies. It instantly killed 95% of the world's population upon activation. So it just kind of happened randomly. A lot of people don't know what happened. And apparently these like flesh looking zombies still kind of have their voices and try to get you to come out into the sunlight. A pretty spooky scenario. I would not want to live in like this apocalyptic world. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's yucky. But yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.